Good morning, this is Keith All. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a multiple stroke text effect in Photoshop. And this is going to be part two in a series. Today's part will be learning how to create this effect that you see right here using a gradient. Now, in my previous tutorial, which a suggested video will pop up about now, uh, we'll show you how to create the same effect, a multiple stroke text effect, using a smart object. So check that video out when you have a chance. But anyways, let's get into this and let's see how we can create this uh, effect using a gradient. So we're going to open up a new document. I'm going to change the uh, uh, background color. To whatever my foreground color is set here so I'm gonna uh, I'm on a PC so I'm gonna press control delete now let's add some text I'm gonna click the check mark up here in the options bar to accept it now let's uh, press control T First, going to select the move tool, then control T. Let's resize this by pressing shift, alt, and clicking and dragging. Let's move this just a bit. going to try to center this. I'm going to select the move tool, press control A to select the whole canvas. Now we're going to uh, center it vertically and then horizontally by using these tools up here in the options bar. In order to activate these individual tools you must first select the move tool over here. Now I'm going to press Control D to deselect the canvas. Now let's come over here to the right for Layers panel, and we're going to double click the text layer. Now this brings up the Layer Styles dialog box. Now we're going to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select the stroke here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically uh, position the stroke to be on the outside of the text and then what we're going to uh, be doing is going to be selecting the fill type over here instead of color we're going to select gradient and then the style that we're going to choose is going to be shape burst okay and now our next step to create the same effect that you saw in the uh, beginning of the video we're gonna click on the gradient tool here and let's start working with these color stops right down here so our first color stop we're gonna uh, select uh, a red color so we're gonna click on it and that uh, allows us to select the color down here so let's open this and let's drag this up to be a red color. As you can see, it's changing already. Click OK. And now we're going to do another color stop. And what we're going to do is we're going to click in this area to add um, a color stop. And once your pointer becomes a uh, a hand just click anywhere and it creates a color stop for you and we're gonna bring the location to uh, 50 percent we're gonna click the color stop to open up the color picker and then we're gonna select like a yellow color so I'm gonna come down here and type in F C FF zero zero 
and that creates uh, a yellow color. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to create the last color stop. Again, hover underneath this bar here until it becomes a hand and let's uh, create another color stop and we're going to add the location to 75 percent and now that allows us to select the color by selecting the color box down here which opens up the color picker and our last color is going to be ff 0 b as in boy 4 so we're going to click OK. And we're all set here. Now let's click OK. And now let's create the same effect that we had in the previous one, meaning that we're going to use the reverse option over here. So watch what happens over here when I click check uh, the reverse. And let's see, let's double click this. Oh, there's an extra white spot here. And the reason for that is I left this last color stop uh, in effect over here. So to get rid of a color stop, all you have to do is click and drag it down here to delete it. And it deleted that. So we're going to click OK and then click OK here. So that is how you can create a multiple t uh, uh, stroke text effect in Photoshop but using the gradient option. If I zoom in here, if you could see, let me zoom out just a bit, the stroke effects have a soft edge to it so meaning that there's a little fuzziness to the edge of the stroke now in my previous tutorial part one since I used the smart object um, option you'll have a sharp edge for your stroke meaning that it's clear and it's sharp uh, on the edges instead of a fuzziness here so that's a, a slight little difference um, in the way that you do this and um, it'll depend on what effect that you want to create so I'm going to double click the hand here to fit the screen and again that's how you create this multiple stroke text effect in Photoshop using the gradient option uh, again please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and click on that bell notification uh, that allows you to be notified every time that I upload a new video and please like share and comment because it helps me out it helps the community out and uh, helps uh, uh, bring more ideas to the table for me to create future videos again thank you for stopping by and you have a great day bye now